BBC Surrey with Nick Wallace. Now imagine being so exhausted from hours spent riding through India on a 1950s motorbike that you don't even notice a tiger stalking through your camp. That's what happened to my next guest, who's the surgeon Mark Whiteley from Surrey, who's also an unknown hero to thousands of women having done pioneering work in the removal of varicose veins. Mark, good morning. Thanks good for coming morning, in. Good morning Nick. Now I've been looking down your biography. This, this is a measure of the sort of brain that I've got. You love rugby, I've seen that. You were a lecturer at Oxford University. You did uh, the first keyhole operation for varicose veins. You've performed a laser sweat ablation, which we'll talk about in a minute. You've funded an Olympic gold medalist uh, and you've got over 6,000 domain names on the internet and that was the one that made me think what? Yes. 6,000 domain doesn't matter about all the rest 6,000 <laughs> domain names on the internet what, what on earth do you need that many for? It, well it, I'm sort of one of those people who sort of sees opportunities and tries to go for them so in 1990 uh, what's it 1998 when I first came to Guildford the internet was just starting and I'd been a lecturer in surgery at Oxford University and I wanted to desperately get messages across to people and I found that if you just go through the normal medical channels it's your whole career and just when you're about to die you might get your message across yeah so instead because veins have been done so badly for so many years and we're inventing all these new things I bought the domain name veins.co.uk wow. Wow. And I was absolutely terrified at the time that I'd be pulled in front of the GMC because it might be seen as advertising. So I started going into the uh, sort of the pros and cons about it, the GMC being the General Medical Council. Why do they have a problem with advertising? Doctors haven't been allowed to advertise. You're, you're not allowed to say you're better than someone else or anything like that. You're only allowed to give information. And there used to be a very big booklet stopping doctors from doing any advertising at all because we didn't want to get like America where you could advertise drugs, you could advertise services. Things did change in 1997, which was quite lucky because it's a year before I bought the domain name. And what you have to do, you have to be ethical about it. So you can't go on there and uh, go on to anything uh, advertising-wise just to say, come and see us. And you shouldn't really be giving free consultations, things like that. You should, pe But you are allowed to say what you do to let people make their decision as to whether they want to see you. So what special things you offer that nobody else offers. I had no idea you were, you were so constrained. Oh, totally regulated. And it's a good thing is well you wouldn't if you see some of the advertising battles that happen between commercial brands that would be terrible for patients who had a serious medical condition to suddenly be given false information or be given special offers and we we're trying to buy some double glazing at the moment <laughs> i've had three guys around and the poison that they pour in your ear about their rivals i know it's just awful isn't it <laughs> so yes and, you wouldn't want doctors doing that <laughs> and there's been things on television i'm sure you've seen in the cosmetic surgery industry where certain uh, non-doctor organizations will sort of say you know if you want your boobs done we'll throw in a nose job for free if you come here and things like that and that's completely wrong this is all medicine you people should make their choice on the pros and cons of what they uh, what they should be having but you bought six thousand domain names yeah, so i got you got veins I, and you got you got a taste yeah, for it did you? i got rather carried away yes <laughs> so i bought veins and then i suddenly started thinking well you know people are interested so i got leg ulcers.co.uk thread hyphen veins.co.uk sweating.co.uk i basically tried to sort of corner all the good medical names that i'd ever need in my life and have you used many of them, any of them? I've got about 40 up and running at the moment. Um, and I'm so busy at the moment, I don't have time to use the others. But Only I'm... 40. Gosh. It makes my website, I've got one domain name for my own name, and I, I feel a bit embarrassed now. I feel like I ought to go out and get some more. <laughs> I'll lend you some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds like you've got a few to spare. Um, well, let, let, let's talk about your, your surgery then, first of all, because um, I, I had no idea... Um, how varicose veins were treated in the past but I do remember hearing from um, my mother's generation that it could be a very painful operation yeah. and, and, and wasn't without some risks as well. So what did you come across and why did you decide it needed change? Well the first thing about it is people still seem to think varicose veins are only cosmetic. 